Hello everybody, this is Scott, I'm back with another product review, and this one is a little program called Jump Shot, and Jump Shot was a program originally sent to, that was originally created on Kickstarter, it was a Kickstarter project that uh, raised its money, and then some got over $100,000, and, uh, excuse me, it was very shocking, and I didn't think it would actually make this far. So now we're just going to run a basic test to see if it's free from malware. I bet it is. I know it is. I've seen. Nope. Yep. See. We're done. Okay. And it's supposed to speed up your computer by doing basic, like, testing. Think of it as, like, advanced system care, but it, they claim that they can do it better. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to open up Jump Shot here. I don't know what it's going to do, so we're just going to see. Sedate this computer. Uh, hmm. I don't know what it's going to do. Generally, sedate would be to put it in like a sleep mode. You could think of it as like a doctor. So I'm gonna pause it and just see. I'm gonna st stop the video and just see what happens after I click the button. Probably it's gonna like go into like advanced sleep crap. So be right back. Okay, well, jump shot failed the last couple of times. I tried going through it, and I, I skipped. Oh, you're not able to download it. Oh, that's because I turned off my internet. Okay. Well, what I'm going to say about jump shot is it... I... It does work if you use their second version. That's not as pretty as they say. The issue with Jump Shot is they've put a lot of effort into the work and removal process. Unfortunately, if it doesn't work with the original product without using a secondary one that has a greater chance at working, it won't do well. People don't want something that isn't going to work. If you got to keep suggesting to them to use a different version of the program that they downloaded because it doesn't work, they're eventually going to get frustrated and just ditch the program. I also do not like that JumpShot does not specifically give me options on what it what it changes. That right there is why I'm kind of glad it failed because I don't know what it was going to change. They didn't bother to tell me. Quiet you. So what I'll say about Jump Shot is, while they do, uh, from like, from what I, I've seen, they do do an effective job at removal. Unfortunately, they've made it basically for people who don't know what they're doing at all. They made it as the, uh, here's your program, just hit this button and we'll do it all for you. And I'm not generally all for that because if I can't choose what it's changing, then I have no idea what the program is actually doing. And until JumpShot can overcome those issues, then it will never be a major competitor in the industry. It'll just remain the little kickstart project that it started from. So, I'm going to be very interested. I will revisit this product probably within like a couple of months, not a couple months, a couple of weeks, maybe a month. And I'm going to see if JumpShot's able to fix the issues with this uh and I'm going to see what they do as far as their UI, because having the sedate this PC and then have it go, that just doesn't work. And until they can fix that, I will probably not consider using the product. But remember that this product is still very new, and the market needs time, to, it just needs time to, like, grow. No product became, like, as big as it is overnight. Like, uh, AVG wasn't like one of the highest, most used antivirus in a day. Never happened. But, we're going to see where this goes. It's a very interesting idea. I just want to see how it is that they allow us to get more control. So, thank you very much for watching, and stay tuned for the next video. And let me know if you ever heard of Jump Shot, or you're interested in using it, because it's good. you can go to jumpshot.com, and they will give you a trial for their product. 
So thank you very much for watching and goodbye. All right, now that that took a while, shouldn't have. Uh, jump shot will begin the next time your computer restarts. We're in restart right now, and afterwards it should give me a menu of what it changed. I'm not liking this because I don't have any control. Jump shot took complete control over its own actions, and I don't generally like that. But let's see if it actually can do its job properly and not screw anything up. And as I would hit the sedate button, I am left on this little menu that says preparing your computer to run jump shot. I have no clue what that means. So I'm going to just wait until it does anything again to record. So I'm going to have to piece this all together afterwards. So we'll be right back. Oh, before I do so, I always recommend that if they don't give you the ability to see what it's doing, always have a system restore right before it because chances are is that it's gonna screw something up this is why I don't generally recommend programs like this uh, I don't want to restore it and I want to create a system restore it is 6 12 2013 and we're gonna say before jump shot and we're gonna see if jump shot is actually all that good the issue is I don't like software that doesn't tell me what it'll exactly do beforehand and I can't figure it out I mean they have these little cartoon characters that break down what their job their jobs are but I'm not quite sure what it actually does to the computer they just say it sedates it by putting it in this sleep like mode that um a sleep like mode that is meant to speed up and make it easier to remove malware. No clue. So uh, let's pause it and after we hit the sedate button, we're going to see if we could still play this.